Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and show you guys some more content of the Righteous Fire character. Uh, in the previous video that was kind of scuffed, you guys saw that I just got Righteous Fire started. Uh, probably looked pretty spooky. The damage was kind of shit. That's because I just kind of started the character. Um, so this is like not that much further on in the transition. This guy's only level 49 now. Pretty much identical gear. Um, but I just want to go ahead and show you guys what we're going to be doing, well, basically how the character works. Now, if you're kind of new to Righteous Fire, um, if you're kind of new to Righteous Fire and you don't really, like, you're kind of scared of the degen or you don't really have the good uniques, um, I'm going to show you how to get Righteous Fire started, basically with just life flasks. It may sound kind of scary, but I'm, I'm also playing SSF in the Synthesis event, which is the uh, flashback. So we've got three mods on at all times, and the build's actually very safe. But to just show you guys how much I degen with nothing on, it can be kind of spooky, right? All you really need to do is roll a life flask with Catalyst, which you basically will juggle your life to basically always be up with a buffer of a life flask. And then you'll just use another flask. This is a Catalyst Hollowed. Ideally, I would want a bubbling or a seething hollowed so that when my life drops low, I can double tap it. We're not even doing that. We're just using regular life flasks. So I'm going to go show you how this fares against Mr. Katava. Um, just to show you guys what we're using. I've got Righteous Fire, Elemental Focus, Burn Damage, Increased AoE. Um, in my Scorching Ray, I've got Burn Damage, Scorching Ray, Infused Channeling. This is like really, really bad right now. Um, we have like no cast speed, but it just does a little bit of extra damage. Also, Infused Channeling allows us to, uh, allows us to take reduced damage from Fire, I think, because of the way Scorching Ray works. Um, so that's kind of cool. It's going to help us a lot on Katava. And then for our next Labyrinth, since we have only done Normal Lab, for Cruel Lab, we'll be taking Unstoppable. And from Unstoppable, we can then remove our Wanderlust and use like actual boots. So with that being said, let me go ahead and show you guys. I figure Katava is a good thing to show since uh, I think a lot of people mainly would get spooked on boss fights since you kind of do have to juggle your flask properly to sustain them. So here we're going to tap flask number one. And you can always tell when flask one is on because I barely regen. And you'll know when flask two is on because I'll regen much, much, much quicker. Now, if I wanted more damage, I would run efficacy. But I don't really feel that I need more damage right now. So I've opted out to run ink AoE instead. Reach and Abyss. Now the reason why you want to balance your life regen and not just instantly heal the full is if you instantly heal the full HP, your flask will turn off. And if it turns off, you'll start degening again. We also do have Elemental Equilibrium. Uh, I've got a little bit of added cold damage on my shield charge uh, from... Actually, do I not anymore? Oh no, I still have cold damage, yeah. So I've got added cold dam... Ooh, let's not stand there. Uh, which allows me to EE with shield charge. Ideally, probably later on, I will swap to like Stormbrand for EE. Um, but right now, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. We're not even, you know, mapping yet. Still pretty low level. Can I go this way? I think I can. Yep. Okay. Oops. I'm just going to tap this, refresh all of my flasks. Uh, and then also for this, I'm going to swap on efficacy. Mainly because 
I don't really need ink AoE. Where's my efficacy? Is it hiding here somewhere? I don't even think he can, like, really hurt me. Yeah, he can't even do anything to me, so I don't really care that much. Let's see. Let me just get some Fortify over here. Where's NKOE? Swap. All right. Time to RF him. So we're going to hit number one right now. And we're just going to wait. And we're going to wait. And we're going to hit one again. Get that Fortify up. Ruby Flask on. Move to the side. Go back in. Really, the most spooky thing on this fight is dodging these degen guys. You don't really have to care. Since you're playing a jug, you keep up your endurance charges. You're not really going to take much damage from anything. It's just the degen. You want to make sure you're never really super low on health. I mean, I know that sounds obvious, but it's kind of true. It's the way Righteous Fire progression works. You're always going to be like super. Like you're always going to be really tanky for the content that you're doing. And of course, that you don't want to. You don't want to take the big boom boom on that. That's kind of spooky too. So here we're getting a little low on the life flasks. So I'm just going to refresh him. Go back in. Righteous fire back on. that's it right yeah you know I have my flask on but I'm still deep what that was weird so when you're in that animation you actually can't heal with flasks that's... Ha! Huh. I wonder if you can somehow die to that. Like, do you think you can get, like, have, like, a poison stack on you? That's... I have I actually never knew that. You think my resistances are dropping? Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. That's actually what happened, is I got hit with a resistance penalty as that happened. Oh, so you can heal. Wow. How, how like, how crazy of timing is that? <laughs> Could you imagine somehow dying during that cutscene? <laughs> 27 fire res beautiful so to just go over what i did with my tree since i told you guys i was going to change a few things um i decided to actually come over here because i didn't realize that ash frost and storm was buffed so much you get 40 percent ellie damage for all for three of the points and you also get 12 all res which is really really nice um now i decided well i guess here i told you guys i was going to respec into here like this so i could cut out these two points and then um, I am going to pick up minion damage scaling. And I'm probably going to drop Arsonist for minion damage scaling. Since this gives us 1% life regen. And then we get Spiritual Aid. And then I can justify grabbing Retribution. Because it gives 5% attack speed. And gives strength. And gives minion damage. And gives cast speed for Scorching Ray. So that's really good. Uh, and you get so much resistance on the tree. Which is really nice. So anyway, just giving you guys a little update with what's going on. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later when I'm in maps. Take care. Have a wonderful time, everybody.